I cannot believe that all 15 of these stories are just entitled and ignorant human beings. People in their nonsense. Hi my lovelies, it's Rebecca Rogers. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. No matter which one you are, you are loved here. And it's Weekend Eve, AKA Thursday, AKA time for hotel workers to let us know, we just can't make this stuff up. I asked my Facebook and Instagram followers, hey, any of you guys have experience working in hotels? And if so, what's one experience you had at work that made you think, oh, I don't get paid enough. And here are 15 of their answers. I need to rub my eye so bad, but I don't want to end up like last video, Tuesday's video. Never again. Some guy reserved a hotel room and then just didn't show up. So he was charged the no-show fees. He called screaming that we didn't know who we were dealing with and tried to dispute the charges with his credit card company. For obvious reasons, that didn't work. So he called back demanding that I had to pay for the charges. Me specifically. In what world does that make sense to a person that I have to pay for his no-show fees? You gotta be kidding me. That is a great example of a Darren. I actually just learned this recently from my wonderful followers. A Darren is a male Karen. Children, take notes. This will be on your quiz next week. I was working night shift at the front desk around 4 a.m. when a mother and her son comes to the lobby to wait for their taxi. After a few minutes, the little boy just walks behind the front desk and snatches my phone off the counter. I obviously grabbed it back and asked him, Please don't touch my things and also please get out from behind the desk. His mom starts screeching at me saying, What are you doing? Can't you see he's bored? Why are you not letting him play on your phone? What? There's not enough at this hotel to accommodate children. My son is bored. It's your job as an employee to entertain him until our taxi gets here. He wants to play games on your phone, so you really should let him. And right after the Darren, we see a Karen. This is such an educational video. Nothing frustrates me more than parents who think it's everyone else's job to accommodate their kids. And I'm not talking about reasonable requests, but you can't tell me this is reasonable. My kid's bored and I know he's a random stranger, but he deserves access to your personal cell phone. No, in what world? There is no one that can convince me that's reasonable. A woman tried playing explicit music in our hotel lobby and I told her, I'm sorry, you're either gonna have to turn the music off or listen to it in your room. We just can't have that kind of language in our hotel lobby. She then called her mom to drive down to the hotel and yell at me for mistreating her daughter. And the mom agreed? If this lady is staying in a hotel by herself, I'm assuming she's at least gotta be 18 years old, right? How old do you have to be to rent a hotel room? I don't know, but at least that old. First of all, I feel like it's common sense to know that if there's explicit language in a privately owned business lobby, that like, yeah, that makes sense that they wouldn't want that kind of language there. But you called your mommy on them? Girl. Her mom was that lady that was always like, my baby would never do something like that when she was in school. Some guy came down to the front desk screaming, you ruined my marriage. Excuse me? You charged the room to my credit card, you idiot, and I need you to refund it right now. Sir, it's seven in the morning. I have absolutely no idea what's going on. My wife and I have a shared bank account. She doesn't know I'm here. I'm here with someone else. And if she sees that charge on our shared account, she'll know I was here with another woman. How is it my fault that you're cheating on your wife? It's your fault that you charged my credit card and didn't use my hotel points. Actually, that's something you set up when you made the reservation. I guess you just hit the wrong button. So per our policy at this time, there's nothing I can do for you. You've ruined my marriage and I'm gonna have your job for this. I doubt my female boss will see things your way, but you're welcome to try. Karma. If this video was one day later, I would have enjoyed playing Taylor Swift's Karma to that little story. I 
said it before on this page, and I'll say it again, we don't have sympathy for cheaters here. Sorry, Darren. All I really want for that story, though, is for the wife to stand up for herself and go find a man who actually respects her and treats her like the queen she is. I was checking a gay man into a hotel, and he was super flirty. I'm a straight guy, and I told him, hey, I'm flattered, but I do play on a different team. He shrugged and left, but immediately after, a completely different dude in the lobby came up to me furious that I wasn't upset a gay dude flirted with me. I said, I don't see how that interaction was any of your business, but I'm confident enough in my sexuality that that sort of thing won't bother me. Maybe you should try it sometime. Oh! Yes! Oh, I love that response! Seriously though, who? I'm upset that this didn't offend you. What? Make it make sense. One lady comes in and tries to check in, but her name wasn't in our system. She showed me her reservation confirmation, and although the address on the confirmation was correct, the name of the hotel isn't, and the third party site she got this from is not a third party site we offer reservations on. What that really means is that it was a scam and a fraudulent site stole her money. I tried to explain this to her and she accused me of lying. I said, ma'am, your reservation's on the fourth floor. We only have three. It was at this moment that she knew she f***ed up. Once she realized she was scammed, all of a sudden it became my fault that this happened and I needed to fix it. How did this poor man have anything to do with you getting scammed. Like that's a very unfortunate situation. I just realized we did have a makeup smudge today. It's just on my hand and not on my face this time. Anyways, it's not fun being scammed. It's not your fault. Like, like you didn't wake up today and say, you know what, I want someone to steal my money. But it's not his fault either. I understand you're probably very upset right now. You're probably very frustrated right now. I mean, who knows how much money they stole from you, but <sighs> Deep breaths. It's not other people's fault either. We need to take some accountability here. A man came down to the front desk asking if I could find him an escort. No sir, that is illegal here. But I know tons of people who find them in this part of town. That may be the case sir, but this hotel can't willingly partake in illegal activity just because you know people who secretly do. <laughs> He was very upset and said he would be leaving a negative review because they wouldn't commit a crime with you? You know, I feel like with all of these episodes every Thursday, it's pretty split, you know, between the Karens and the Darrens and just the funny experiences. We're on what, number seven? And it's just entitled people. It is just Karens and Darrens being so difficult and entitled. What kind of headspace do you need to be in to think, this hotel won't commit a crime for me? How dare they? I'm gonna leave a negative review. How do you think that's gonna go? <laughs> You're pretty much putting in documentation that you were trying to commit a crime. And you think that's gonna look bad on the hotel? Hi. We got a call that there was an unconscious girl in the hallway of our hotel. She was unresponsive and just slumped against one of the hotel doors with no adult in sight, so we called an ambulance. As the EMTs were arriving, a group of women just drunkenly stumble in, demanding to know what's going on. Apparently, this was a mom's trip, and one of them decided to take their 16-year-old daughter out drinking with them. Not like a regular mom, I'm a cool mom. When she got drunk and couldn't hang, they just dumped her back in the lobby and assumed she would find the room on her own and went back out to party. The moms had the audacity to chastise me for calling 911 because how will this look on them and how am I supposed to explain this to my husband? And don't I know this is ruining their girls trip? I don't care. I love it. Nice priorities, ladies. Nice. That is when you call CPS. I'm really sorry, I wasn't actually trying to sing. That probably was really terrible. Maybe one day I'll get the courage to actually sing for you guys, but probably not, because I'm not great. <laughs> but seriously, no, that's a call. There are so many dangerous things that could have happened to that girl when they just dropped her off. I mean, not to mention the fact that they illegally took 
a minor out drinking. She's still five years away from being legal. It's not even like an almost. You just dropped her off. What if she had alcohol poisoning? What if she was kidnapped? What if a sexual predator found her? And you're mad, cause what will this look like? It'll look like the truth. Not a single person can give me any kind of excuse as to why that would be okay. Why that wouldn't warrant a phone call. You know, before we continue, I want to play a game for all the previous stories, for all of the rest of the stories, okay? Cause I'm getting the feeling that these are just gonna be a bunch of Karens and Darrens. Ain't nobody got time for that. I want you to take the Karens from these episodes. I want to hear your best responses to these entitled humans. What would you say if you were a hotel employee and you had your boss's support, if you would not get fired? I want to hear your best comebacks. I think this is gonna be fun. This lady was checking into our hotel and while I was looking up her reservation, she asked if I had any big plans that night. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna have dinner with my husband tonight. It's our anniversary. She looked visibly confused and said, you're a man. Yes. Yes, I am. Oh, so you're going to dinner with your boss tonight? No, I'm going to dinner with my husband. Oh, so you're going to dinner with your coworker? It's still my husband. I handed her her keys and as she walked away, she called out, have fun at dinner with your friend tonight. I know we live in Georgia, but dang. Does she just not think gay people exist? She don't see us? You see me? Yeah. Yes, I see you. You see me? Hell yeah, I see you. Both of us sitting here looking like two big barnies. We see each other. I'm very confused as to what was going through this lady's mind. I mean, I know she lives in Georgia. I live in North Carolina. Like, it's not that far away. I know. But she's gotta have met a gay person before. There's no way she hasn't. What could the disconnect have been? Does anyone have any ideas? On Saturday morning, a housekeeping supervisor called the front office to report a trashed room. Bodily fluids and human excrement everywhere. And I mean everywhere. On the walls, on the bed, on the floor, the table, the beautiful winged backed armchair. We had to toss everything except from the mattress and the chair, but the stains can't be removed despite professional cleaning efforts. So, guess who's looking forward to having to charge these guests $2,000 tomorrow? Okay, there's only two options here. Either these are filthy rich Karens who just don't care about other people's things and aren't just like, oh, there's not a problem, money can't fix, I'll just pay for it. Or that poor hotel employee is gonna have someone scream at them because it's not my fault, I shouldn't be charged. For story 10, which guest do you think it's gonna be? The entitled rich people or the unaccountable miscreants? Which one? I need to know. What's your vote? We had a lady come in completely livid because the trees outside didn't have leaves on them. She didn't understand why we didn't uproot all of our trees in the winter and replace them with pine trees for the festiveness of the seasons. And then replace them all again in the spring when they would bloom and look pretty. She said it was abhorrent that we expected her to look outside and look at the gloomy branches of barren trees. Honestly, my geography is so horrible. I can't eat anything, like Try nothing. <laughs> Is this South Africa? Nope. Are you from Florida by any chance? Not the hotel worker, the lady. I feel like she's never seen fall before. How is someone a grown adult and still unaware that in most places, leaves fall off the trees in the winter? Our hotel's in the middle of nowhere and we're a very enjoy an unplugged experience, free of modern destinations kind of place. No Wi-Fi, no TV, not even radio. So this dad comes in to check in with his two kids and within 10 minutes of him going up to his room, he comes back down furious, demanding to know what he's supposed to do for entertainment if there's no TV in his rooms. I point to the gift shop and say, there are a lot of card games and board games you guys could play. He gets an actual look of horror on his face and said with absolute disgust, You expect me to spend time with my kids? <laughs> That's an example of one of the parents during COVID that were like, Schools have to open up now because I can't spend another day with my own child that I created. That was him. 
guarantee. But then those are also the same parents who are like, I don't understand my teachers won't spend extra time with my child either after school or over the weekends so tutoring or whatever because my child's the greatest thing that ever worked on earth. Even though they don't want to spend their own time with their kids. So, make it make sense. A lady came down to the front desk and said she wanted to use the free shuttle. Ma'am, I'm so sorry. We actually don't have a free shuttle. Um, no, I heard your shuttle was free. From who? It, it's definitely $17 per adult. Well, that's way too expensive, and your website says that it's free. I'm actually the one who manages the website, and I can guarantee it does not say the shuttle is free on there. She huffed and puffed all the way back to her room, and the next day, we had a poor review saying we refused her service on our free shuttle. Of course. Okay, this is, I wanna see your responses. I wanna see what you would say. If you were the hotel owner responding to that negative review, what would you say? We gotta give these hotel employees some options, guys. I have the best boss ever. He's one of those owners that when we're short staffed, he'll show up to help, no problem. He was working the front desk with me when this lady comes in demanding a lower rate for one of our most expensive rooms. She pulled the, so I actually know the owner and if you know what's good for you, he'll treat me accordingly. Uh, actually, I'm the owner and I've never seen you in my life. So if you know what's good for you, you'll leave my hotel so I don't have to worry about you bullying my employees. Yes. Yes, those are the bosses we stand. We love bosses that support their employees. 10 out of 10, my respect. This was an actual conversation I had with a guest. Hey, I'm checking out, but I'll be back later. Okay, so are you leaving or are you extending your stay? Oh, I wanna check out now, but I'm leaving my stuff up there and I'll just come back later. Sir, you can't leave your stuff in your room if you're checking out. Why not? I'm literally coming back at 3 a.m. to sleep a little bit. Okay, you can either extend your stay and leave all your luggage up in the room and come back and sleep, or you can check out and take all of your stuff now, but you can't do both. You have to pick one. I just wanna come back and sleep for like six to seven hours. I don't understand why I have to pay for a whole day just for that. Have you never been to a hotel before? Right, no, that's my question also. Do you not know how hotels make money? I don't understand what he thinks. That has been the case with all of these. I don't understand what they're thinking. What is going through their head? I just... <gasps> Yikes. That was 15 examples of reasons that hotel workers just do not get paid enough. As always, I wanna hear which story you thought was the most crazy. I'll definitely make sure to put mine down below and pin it so that you guys can start a chain. And as always, the reason we do this is because the first step to respecting each other is understanding each other. That doesn't mean that we can't laugh while we do it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope when you wake up this weekend, you wake up with one of those, what year is it? Kinds of sleeps, cause those are the best kinds of sleeps. And I hope you enjoyed your stay at my channel today. See the little pun that I did there? I love you so much and I'll see you guys next week. Bye my lovelies. Mwah.